Hey guys, uh, we're, we're just gonna get into it. The title says it all. We're gonna explain what furry, the furry fandom is right here, right now. But first, there's something that needs to be done. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. No oh boy, this is gonna be harder than I expected. Oh shit. Why am I making this video? Well, I'll tell you. It's because I was on Grinder. Um, don't ask why, it was a long story. But I was on Grinder, and somebody, I have pictures of my fursuit on Grinder, and somebody's like, oh, can you tell me more about this furry thing? I've like always wanted to look into it, but I don't really know what it is. So I wrote up a huge like thing to them, explaining it in detail for like, in a way that I think everybody could understand, hopefully. Um, I was like, well, I should make a video of that. And I figured a way to make a video like that more entertaining would be to make an idiot out of myself and just lose the ability to speak coherently. <laughs> Um, what is the furry fandom? I'm gonna start off by saying This is not what a furry looks like No, that's, that's this is you know, like this is what a fur oh. Don't ask why there was a cut there. It wasn't because I made a fool of myself or anything like that um, <laughs> Who you do not know how many times I have tried to film the intro to this video like well this this part of the video it's very difficult. Anyway, I'm gonna start talking about, uh, I am going to start with the topic of, more specifically, um, what the average furry looks like, and, uh, surprise, I wanna retract the statement where I just went surprised but then cut it off, you know, like, now you're watching this part where I said I was revising the thing that you didn't even see because I cut it, yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, furries don't all have fursuits. That's the main idea I'm trying to get across right now. And so it's, there's varying degrees of what a furry looks like. It's, um, not like, oh, a furry is a person who dresses up as, um, this. I, I, I I'm frozen. I don't know what to say next. There's a various, uh, degree of what a furry um, looks like and how they engage with being a furry. It's not just people who dress up as animals or um, the cl classic getting dressed up as animals to, you know, like, you know. So, uh, that's not <laughs> everybody. But, um, yeah. Fuck, you've heard that before. I'm sure you've heard that before. Everybody's heard that before. Like, oh, it's not everybody. Here's the, the here's the deal, okay? Furry is a community, a community of people who happen to like animals with human characteristics. And that's that's it. That's the only rule for being a furry. You don't have to have a fursuit, you don't have to have your own characters, you don't have to wear like tails or I don't, I don't know, you don't have to do anything. You're a furry if you want to engage in a community that revolves around the idea of animals with human traits. So it's just those people who have that interest coming together to do cool stuff. You can kind of think of it like, I think a common example that most people can, um, can understand is talking about Comic-Con. At those Comic-Cons, the idea is that those people, they have a common interest in a bunch of these kind of like fictional uh, things. It's Comic Con, you know what? It, and it's all this this nerdy interest group. It's a group of people with similar interests coming together to have a fun time, like do panels, drink, have parties, uh, 
and uh, dress up and like become a character and stuff like that. You know, the cosplayers, they're, they're becoming a character. So if you think of it like that, and you relate that to how furries are, you can really understand it. You can make, like, <laughs> it's an analogist, no, ana analogous? You can find an analogy, fuck, between uh, Comic-Con people and what the furry people do, so, God, I don't know where this is going, fuck. See, I don't know where I'm putting this in the video because there's probably so many cuts and it's gonna be weird, but, um, the Comic-Con thing, the relation to Comic-Con is that, like, Comic-Con, it's just people who have these com this common interest of all these, like, you know, comics, uh, just fictional things, you know, and they, they get together and do fun stuff related to that thing. You'll get panels or, you know, um, like merchandise booths where you can get people's, like, crafted arts about, like, uh, Spongebob Squarepants or something. I don't know. I've never been to Comic-Con. <laughs> they just have these interests and they find people that have that same interest and do cool shit with them. That's what Comic-Con is. And that's literally what the furry fandom is. They just like anthropomorphic char uh, characters, which is... <laughs> anthrop... They like anthropomorphic animals. So, uh, they... <laughs> They, uh, do the stuff, they in, engage with others and um, draw pictures and make costumes and, you know, all to become the characters that are so interested. They create their own characters as well. Um, you'll, see, you'll, you'll hear personas probably pretty often. Um, what those are is they're just people's furry personas which can mean a lot of things. To some people it's like, oh, foxes are my spirit animal. Sorry, I'm not trying to like to mock those people legitimately, but like, you know, they're my spirit animal and that's why they um, chose to make a character of that species. Uh, other people are like, oh, like my personality fits this uh, stereotypical um, characterization of a rabbit <laughs> and that's they'll they'll find that relation and they'll be like I want to be that or there's people like me who just really like cats and think they're the best thing ever um, so I made an anthropomorphic cat personas why do we make them I don't know personas they are people's way to um, bring themselves into the fandom in a way that is um, very personal, I guess. You know, you personalize your experience. It's like if you could put yourself in your favorite comic and then cosplay that and go to <laughs> Comic-Con or something, you know? <laughs> and like. That's the that's the idea. Is it's just you create your own thing, <laughs> your own representation. There's so many different ways that people decide. Hey, I want to take my interest and and, and create something with that interest. Uh, so that's why you get the art. That's why you get people creating their personas. That's why you get the fursuits. It's all this pursuit of being creative and being able to express yourself in a way that's... Well, how many times... Okay, wait. Let me figure this out. Where were we going? Alexa. Stop. I have to... Fuck. I have something in the oven. One second. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> Hi. I'm too lazy to put this on correctly, so just deal with it. I have no clue what we were just talking about, so... Did I do this? <laughs> okay, let me think of the things that we talked about and then try to bring them together. Okay. Personas being a way to create something. They, they, personas 
are a way for people to create something out of their interest. I think that's a weird way of putting it. There's so many different reasons why people will create furry content or create personas or create uh, fursuits or create furry art or create furry um, visual novels, furry novels, <laughs> uh, furry videos. Hello, you know? There's so many different avenues for people to be creative. And if you have an interest in furry, being able to create, I'm so out of breath, being able to, be, being able to create um, and incorporate furry stuff into it, it's like combining two great things in, in one. <laughs> so, you know, there's some, so many different reasons why people would do it. I personally um, just really like cats and thought fursuits were cute and um, and personas and all the art, loved all that. And I was like, I wanna create my own character, get art of him, get him as a suit and be able to like, express myself creatively in a way that I wouldn't be able to without it. It's hard to explain how that really, what that really means, like, but, you're playing another character when you're in a fursuit, you know? What you see on camera is very far from my normal life. That's because I choose to put on a smile and um, I can't take it off though because it's, it's stuck there. But, um, you know, I, I get to play this character and it's not like I'm like, I'm putting on this character because I'm depressed and want to hide it <laughs> for YouTube. It's, it's that it's just, it's a fun thing for me to do and it's an identity I've created for myself and this whole YouTube thing um, has been a really fun way to express some of my dumb ideas like this one um, to the world and I thought doing it as this would just be way cuter. <laughs> That's my reason I guess so uh, it can be different for everybody and again the involvement in the fandom from there it just, uh, it depends per person. Some people just make art, some people just make those stories. Some people just consume the art, like like eat it, no. Um, <laughs> they look at the art, they uh, read the stories, they play the visual novels, they watch the first few videos, and that's just fun, because you know, you get to see cute anthro animals, which you presumably have an interest in if you're a furry. <laughs> um, doing a variety of things and uh, yeah so there could be as small as that there could be some people who like I think well but I think the, the lowest requirement there is that you want to if you're furry you want to be involved in the community you can like furry art or movies like Zootopia that are furry characters you can like those things or animations on YouTube that are furry related. You can like those things and not be a furry. Because it's not about liking those things. Because, come on, who doesn't love Disney movies, you know? <laughs> um, it's whether or not you want to be part of that as a community to interact with other people through that common interest. That's really where, like, the, the barrier of entry lies. You have to have at least that to be a furry. <laughs> um, and then from there, it's again, all those different interests people might have, I guess, you know? Um, they just engage. But I guess the, you kind of probably get the idea, which the, the overarching idea to all these weird fucking tangents I've been going on. Um, <laughs> the overarching theme is that furries aren't this one picture that you're seeing of maybe me uh, on YouTube or maybe you saw that one CSI episode where they're having like a fucking <laughs> and uh, that was some pretty bad Publicity and it sticks in everybody's head. A lot of people think that all the furries want to do is, you know, just.
Oh, my camera stopped recording. What was I saying? I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to properly talk about the um, adult side of furry without making it too specific and weird for YouTube. But um, the basic idea is that, as with everything ever, people who have an interest in it will try to bring it into their um, adult lives. <laughs> and um, this, this is no exception. But again, think about it like the general population isn't into insert thing here. Um, you know, it's <laughs> per individual. So again, as with furries, it, you've got to really look at each individual person and how they want to express themselves. And of course, you're probably going to get the same ratio of furries expressing themselves in um, explicit ways than you as you would with non furries doing that same thing. So it's um you know it's it yeah it'd be like that. But why was I talking about that? I have no clue. Fuck. Oh yeah. So but yeah I, yeah I remember we were talking about um how people choose to express it in different ways um, and bring it in their lives in a variety of ways and you gotta look at each individual. So, so yeah, like the, the whole adult thing basically just reinforces the idea that it's per individual and there's no one rule for <laughs> um, what a furry is. It's just, again, people who want to be in a community that revolves around anthropomorphic um, animals, like, like me. Um, but I have food that is like getting cold over there, and I think I've said enough, and it probably is going to suck so bad, and I'm probably gonna have to edit so much. But, um,. Yeah, just, just, uh, if you want to compensate for the time spent on editing this video, you can leave a like, maybe even a comment, maybe even, um, fucking subscribe and ring the ding -a -ling. Um, is that what you're supposed to do for YouTube? God, I still just do this like I'm not a professional. God, I, I hate, I hate YouTube. Or do I? <laughs> I? I don't know what that was. God, I have to, I have to go. I gotta go. Okay. Um. <laughs> so, in conclusion. So, so in conclusion, furries are a lot of things, but what they aren't are bad. <laughs> And that's advice from memes. <laughs> kitten at uh, youtube.com slash memes kitten. Uh, fuck. But uh, enough inspiration. Um, I got. I got. I got to take this off. But uh, yeah. Uh, here is a shout out that I'm gonna there's gonna be patreon people coming up on the screen here in a second if you want your name there check out the patreon it's linked in the the doobly doo so thanks for the patreon people here they are wow woo! so fancy it's so amazing wow look at them go I don't know I hope I edit this and make it really awesome wow oh my god
Okay, um... Fuck, I'm, it's just, it's over, it's over.